This episode of Unexplained Cases contains the topic of suicide. Please know that your life is special. You are important. You are relevant. You are loved. Please talk to someone if you're having suicidal thoughts. You can always call 1-800-273-TALK. 1-800-273-8255. Or you can visit suicidepreventionlifeline.org. The iconic Colorado Street Bridge is an historic landmark in Pasadena. I think it's magnificent. I see it from every window in my home. So popular, it's been featured in several films, including La La Land. But sadly, it's made headlines more for being dubbed the Suicide Bridge. Right. That historic Colorado Bridge is south of the Rose Bowl and south of the 134 Freeway. Sad deja vu beneath Pasadena's Colorado Street Bridge Saturday morning, with police responding to a middle-aged man suspected suicide, the 28th year in the past decade. Across the world, there are dozens of sites where people have chosen to end their own lives. Many would conclude these sites must be haunted, either by human spirits, unwilling or unable to cross over, or by inhuman spirits who helped lure them to their demise. In Pasadena, California, one such bridge, the Colorado Street Bridge, has been known as Suicide Bridge almost since its construction. Built in 1912, the 1,486-foot-long bridge is 150 feet at its highest point. It has a history of death beginning prior to its being built, with the allegation that a construction worker fell to his death landing in wet cement under the bridge and is still there today. While the number of deaths spiked during the Great Depression, the death toll continues. Yet, in sharp contrast to these grim tales, residents of Pasadena gather to celebrate the majestic Colorado Street Bridge. Music stages, dance floors, vintage car shows, kid activities, and more celebrate a rich history, but also a dark one. Even in Charlie Chaplin's silent movie, The Kid, a despondent mother considers jumping from the bridge until a child changes her mind. I did you a favor, Derek. Now you could put badass Negro gangster on an application form and all them Ivy Leaguers will be all excited and shivering. Sam Sarpong, a British actor, supermodel, and musician who performed in over 60 feature films and 55 television shows, chose to end his life at the bridge on October 26. 2015. If there are spirits at this bridge needing help, it's an excellent case for Unexplained Cases investigator and medium Miriam Faresh. In our first collaboration, we teamed up with the Hollywood paranormal detectives to explore this bridge and uncover any hidden secrets. I've never been saged before. Really? I don't do any kind of yeah. precaution or post or anything. I've always done it as the, like, I've never had any problems, so I don't want to change anything. So, like, Can you tell uh, us, Mary, what the sage does? I'm just clearing you guys from any energies that were not attached, but just lingering. Um, and any negativity that we hang on to or sadness, it just clears your, your energy field. It's not long before Miriam encounters someone rather positive. It feels like there's something right here. Um. So what happens for you personally that makes you want to stop? It's just like that feeling you had in the circle. Yeah. You just feel, right? I, just I felt like when your leg falls asleep and you, everything jitters its way back. Mm -hmm. I felt like both hands I was holding were sort of mm -hmm. shimmying. I mean, I feel, I see, I hear, so it comes in all sort of forms. So there's a young man here. 
Um, it feels like there's a lot of masculine energy here, more masculine than feminine, but it feels like there might be feminine down there. But there's a young man here who, um, at the age of 10, I don't know if he actually jumped at 10 or started contemplating at 10. Um, he actually is not needing help passing over. He's more here because there's a, um, he actually assists and communicates with people that come here. He actually tries to help other, help others from not jumping. He actually isn't. Almost isn't um, a turn. Yeah. He's like proud of his position. He's, it, he's, it, oh. it's not so much that he's proud as much as it's his job. Um, he's actually in a very angelic form wanting to assist others and his jump like if I could talk to his parents I would tell them that that's why he actually jumped because his ultimately his job anyway his role is to be of service to others um, in an angelic form not in a human form but that was part of his karma part of his transition so he actually hangs here obviously with this barrier there's a lot less that goes on but he says that he is able to uh, he still assists, so, you know, obviously when you're in spirit form, location is not a thing, so it's not like he can't reach others, so this may be like a conduit um, that kind of alerts him to other locations and other people who he has to assist, um, but that's who's right here. Stephen Adkins and Miriam continue the investigation and make contact with a spirit needing help crossing over. When you look, are you looking to visually see something, or you're just sort of feeling, sensing with your eyes? Mm -hmm. Wow. She's a. Oh. There's a rock. Oh. Huh. And you didn't see that? That's wonderful. Not wonderful. <laughs> She's. <I'm sorry. laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I, uh, I follow. Okay, so I might be able to help her pass over. Let's see. First name that came popped in my head. Don't know if it's right. Is it Jenny? Um, she started. I don't. She either either jumped at 16, or that's when her depression and pain started. Was at 16, and. So it starts to stew in you at a point, and that point's very significant, it seems like. That's what they're saying. They're giving me these... The, both the one down there and here. It's like that started... At a certain point. And is this something you've done? Have you ever walked a location like this? I didn't even think about that before asking you to come. I this might be a difficult no, location okay. for you. No, it's okay. I appreciate the thought. Um, so... So she's either, either at 16 is when she jumped or that's when it started to. Um, but she, I'm asking her if she wants help crossing over and they're telling me that she does and it's something we should do when we get back and we should all do it. Okay. So let's just hold the name Jenny. Take a break? Yeah. yeah. Another team member, Boom, had some rather intense moments. Is that normal for you? Yeah, when when the spirits are really heavy, mm -hmm. I get nauseous, mm -hmm. and I forgot to bring my little mints. I take mm -hmm. little mints. You see me on camera, mm -hmm. and it helps me. And I forgot them because I thought. So give me your hands. Yeah. Uh, palms other way. Open, go ahead and open them. Take this. I'm gonna put that here for now. So you're gonna picture light coming from below. And you're going to push it through your body and out the top of your head like a water fountain, okay? I'm just going to say something there. Yeah. Something, does not, there's something does not like hearing your words. Something is saying, what is she saying? Ignore her. I just want to tell you that, okay? I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Thank you. Okay, so for you, you have to, you, 
you're going you have to learn how to process this. You feel with your whole body. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to manage that. Um, and only you can learn how to manage that. Meditation is how you manage it. Diet, yoga, practice. Okay. okay? So for now, allow yourself to feel it. Mm -hmm. Try not to go into it because it'll make it bigger. Just allow it to know that it's passing through. Okay. Okay, so don't think of it as like, like if you, it's kind of like when a baby falls and they, and if, and if when the child falls, you're like, oh my God, then they kind of go farther into it. Instead, you just go, get up, you're good, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. It's like whatever's passing through you, it's good. It's passing. Yeah. It's fine. I, I'm used to it, but it just hit me really hard strong out of nowhere so and i want to get the shot with you guys it's like oh the, 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 there's an energy here which i know that it's fascinating because i know that you see it in movies and um people talk a lot about it's not I, i'm not a believer in you know the devil um and and i say that lightly because i've engaged in so many energies that I feel confident in saying there isn't a devil. There are dark energies, okay? So, but this energy sticks around to uh, to assist those that want to jump. He's the opposite of the guy up there, he's the right? Of the boy. And he's it's simply misery loves company. That's mm. all it is. No different than in human form, yeah. right? Misery loves company, and so he wants you to get on, do what I did. It's freaking mm. awesome, like. Misery loves company, yeah. and that's why he's trying to pull you out of the light. Yeah, gotcha. A first for Miriam, and caught on camera, was okay, what she described as being pushed Not by an entity. Boom, you might feel it before me. They say these alcoves tend to be the spot people Whoa. choose. Whoa. Are you all right? Yeah, I just got pushed over there. You saw that? I saw it. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. Careful. Yeah. My neck's screaming, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you feel that? Oh, yeah. The only reason I'm not touching my neck is because I'm holding Woo! the camera. I'm starting to get nauseous. I don't know if you're allowed to swear on this show. Sorry. I like to put beeps on it. Something um, here. Hey, Jody, why don't you come past that? Why don't you go behind him? You can face us, but go behind him. I don't think you should be there either. Yeah? I'm gonna start to move away, but I'm kinda wanting to find out what it is, too. What do you... How can you describe what, what you're getting? Oh, well, there he is. Okay. There's something right here. There's something right here. Maybe in the road. It's over here. He's, he's, he's here. And he, he's here. And he pushed me over. It's coming. But this is his territory right here. Whew. I just. That was crazy. I almost like. I, I, did you see me like turn around? Uh, like, uh, what it what looked like from the shoulder. Like, you even here. took a, a shimmy sidestep. He's right there. He's. Well, Both way. sides, He's like okay. all the way. That's his territory right here. He doesn't want anyone standing in there. That's just it's just a <coughs> it's just a dark energy. Nothing you want to engage is with. Is he a jumper? Or is he a human? Or is well, he Well they're they're never human, obviously they're in spirit form. Yeah, yeah. So your question is was, was he human? Was he human? Um no, nah, this guy, he's been dark for a long time. The third member of Hollywood Paranormal Detectives, Brian Ray, shared his thoughts about the evening. As I was walking up, I felt like I was being repelled. Oh, wow. And then when I forced, once I forced my way through and got to the other side, I felt like I was getting pulled back. Wow. And I'm definitely going to go back to that spot. The evening ended with the team helping Jenny cross over, which provided a rather touching moment. Jenny, for some reason, um, is really struggling. She doesn't want to let go, but she does want to let go. She wants to move on, but she feels like if she does move on, she's leaving her family behind. Um, and so if I want us all just to connect with her energy and just support her and let her know that if she moves on, they move on. That's how her family so will I should heal. focus on just thinking about Jenny and 
letting, like you're saying, just, just focus sending on her that love line. and light, and just let, knowing that if she moves on, her family moves on. She needs all of us to really support her because she's just so sad. Has a lot of regret. I feel like I want to talk. Yeah, I you can. Because I guess I'm a talker. You so are. I feel like I you can. Just keep saying, Jenny, it's all right. Yeah. Jenny, you did nothing wrong, and the people that love you will, will always love you. And uh, just move, move on to help lift that weight off their shoulders and to move forward so they can move forward without your memory or their love for you being an anchor. Their love for you will go on with you. And it's not going to be ended. It's just going to be different. It just Keep Again, going. I want to cry again. Keep um, going because there are her angels are connecting with her as you speak. So don't think of love as something that will keep you here. Think of love as something you'll cherish. Think of love as something that they, the part of you they'll remember and the part of them that will take you to the other side. She went. She oh. did it. <laughs> and you'll probably see, right as you said that, I saw a white flash over here that wasn't cars. I saw a white flash right before you said she did it. I saw a white flash right over there. Awesome. And that's why they told us to come here oh. because you needed to, to walk her through it. We enjoyed collaborating with Hollywood Paranormal Detectives and look forward to more joint investigations in the future. Meanwhile, you can watch the walkthrough video of Miriam and the HPD team on their YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share their videos. For Unexplained Cases, I'm Rick Garner.